Praise the Lord. I welcome you to another brokers and I thank God for you for welcoming me into your homes. And I believe God is going to just change your life this day in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll be sharing with you, walking in victory. Now, I've met people in my life and I have seen them. Some of them are depressed, defeated, and that is not God's plan for their lives. Now, the issue with our Christian walk and our walk with God has been that the works have been so much exalted than the grace that Jesus Christ brought to us. Many times we think the more we put effort and struggle, that is what God reward. No, God reward us when our faith is in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. And many times we can't take it in. We think, I don't deserve it. Now listen to this. When you deserve it, then it's no more grace. Grace is God's divine power to give you what you don't deserve at all. I was looking into what happened to, the, to our father Abraham. Abraham, after he put all the effort, everything he got to get a child, all what he got was Ishmael. And Ishmael brought a lot of problems, including the problem that we have in the world today. Now, the point is, God visited Abraham when he was finished. The grace of God steps in when you know you don't have no more power to do anything on your own. I was so shocked that a lot of Christians, despite the fact that they read their Bible every day, they have not seen John chapter 15 verse 5. The later part, Jesus Christ started by saying, he said, I, he said my father is the husbandman. I am the true vine. And he went in verse 5, he said, you are the branches. He said, for without me, you can do nothing. Now, trying to get your needs met at the expense of your own effort is going to end you in depression and frustration. I'm not saying don't do anything. I'm asking you to depend on what I've been provided because Jesus Christ paid a full price for your redemption. And I want you to know that it is by grace that we are saved. It is by grace that we should be healed. It is by grace that our provisions are, made, are, are, are given to us. It is by grace that your marriage works. It is by grace that your children are grown in the ways of the Lord. Now, the first thing you need to have at the back of your mind is God loves you so much and he has made provision in his word for everything you need for life and godliness. Do you remember that the scripture says in, the, in, in, uh, in, in Romans chapter 8 and verse number 32, he said, if God can give us Jesus, there is nothing he can not freely give to us. So I see you getting your healing right now. Not because you are smarter than anybody, but because God has made provision for your healing. All what is asking you to do right now is to take it. Take it by faith. Just make sure that you don't depend on what your body is speaking to you. Don't depend on what your bank account is speaking to you. You can walk in victory because the same life that is in God has been transferred to you. The same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is the same power that resides in you. Don't believe what they told you more than what God said. Anybody can have a wrong idea about you. But they are wrong because they don't know when God put you together. That is a power that is working inside of you both to, to will and to do of his good pleasure. I am too sure I will see you at the top. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.